Hi guys, this is Miss Ganley. Let's talk a bit more about the units in conversion. Um, the first thing you really need to have a good grasp of is the prefix on your unit because that's going to tell you um, where it lies with the decimal point. It's also going to tell you a lot of information about how many um, units make up the base unit. Okay, so if we talk about kilo, the prefix kilo, we know kilo is a thousand, so it's like a kilogram would be a thousand grams. Okay, so those are all on the left hand side of the decimal, those larger unit uh, prefixes. And so we're, we're in radiation therapy going to focus mostly on centigrade and milli, so like millisieverts, uh, because our particles are very small. So when you think about centi and you have in your mind it's a hundred because it's centi, it's actually one hundredth, which looks like one divided by a hundred. And milli is thousandth, so that's one over a thousand. Okay, and if you take your calculator and you divide one, um, if you put in one div divided by a hundred, you're going to get the decimal zero point zero one okay now we know that um, this would be the ones place this is the tenths with a th on the end of it and then the one would be the hundredths place okay so that helps you know that your you have a hundred um, particles or whatever you're calculating uh, when you see that decimal point zero one okay so centi has two decimal places in it, okay? Milli, on the other hand, has a thousand. So it's going to be bigger if you divide one by a thousand, or actually it's gonna be smaller. Um, so you're gonna have 0 0.001, okay? So every time you have that, um, you're looking to see there are a thousand places um, that make up a milli, okay? so. Um, so just like we said, one kilogram is a thousand grams, we can say um, one centigram is 0 0.01 grams, and one milligram is 0 0.001 gram, okay? A lot of times we write it the opposite way because we want the, the whole number. Okay, so a lot of times you'll see it as one gram equals a hundred centigram, or you may see one gram equals a thousand gram, um, milligrams. Okay, because we don't like leading decimals and zeros, right? So when we look at things like vitamins and we want to say, well, or something like that, we want to say how many. Um, how much of this small powder is in the tablet? Move that up. Um, and you can say, well, it's got a thousand milligrams in it. You're not going to, you know, you may say one gram, but they're typically um, going to say, well, there's 500 milligrams or there's 750 milligrams or there's a thousand milligrams. Okay. Okay. So let's look at this with gray and centigrade. Okay. So we know that one gray equals. 100 centigrade okay that so we're going to call this our conversion factor okay so when you have a word problem and it talks about um, how many gray or how or it gives you gray and it asks you for centigrade you know somehow in that word problem you're going to have to convert between these two things okay so it, this is something that you you will become accustomed to and you will be able to do it in your head but when we talk about other things like in physics problems or things like that where you can't easily remember the conversion factor and you need to write it down, this process will work easily with that as well. Okay, So if your problem asks you how many um, centigrade, centigrade is 32 gray. Okay, so that's what your question is asking. Okay, so you can see you've got a conversion factor, right? So whenever you do that, you want to start out with what you know. Okay, you're going to put your 32 
gray. Okay, and then you're going to put your conversion factor. Okay, so my physics teacher taught me to do it like this. So a lot of times I do this. Okay, so maybe your physics teacher or your math teacher taught you to do parentheses. It works the same way. Okay, I just do a nice long line and I put a slash in between everything that I'm multiplying. Okay, so everything above the line and below the line, this is division. And everything on top of the line, this is going to be multiplication. Okay, so the first thing I want to start off with is what I know. So I put my 32 gray. Then I'm going to look at my units. And I want this unit on top to be what's on the bottom so they cancel out. Okay, so I'm going to put my gray here. Okay, and then I'm going to put my conversion factor. Okay, so I'm going from gray to centigray. Okay, and those things do um, go into each other. Okay, so they're the same base unit. Um, so what I can put here is centigray. Okay, so you can look at it now. If I do this problem, these two things will cancel out and I'll be left with gray. Okay, so my conversion factor is 100 centigray goes into 1 gray. Okay, now I made this a little too long, so this really should be an equal sign here. Okay, so I'll just do an equal. So I'm going to multiply 32 times 100 and then divide by 1. Well, we know 1 is going to be the same number, so we don't really need to do that. However, let's go through here, and we're going to mark out this gray and this gray, okay? And we're left with centigray. So if we multiply 32 times 100, we're left with 3200 centigray. And just because I ran out of room, I wrote it there, okay? Okay, so let's look at a problem with sieverts and millisieverts. So our conversion factor is 1 sievert equals 1,000 millisieverts. Okay, our question says you have 50 millisieverts. How many sieverts is that? Okay, so let's set it up again just like we did. We're going to put what we know on top. So I know millisieverts. So I'm going to put millisieverts and draw my line, divide here, and I'm going to say millisieverts equals sieverts. Okay, this is enough um, here to give me my correct answer. So I'm going to knock out my millisievert on the top, those two cancel out, and I'll be left with sieverts for my answer. Okay, so I have 50 millisieverts. And then what's my conversion here? My conversion is 1 sievert is 1,000 millisieverts. Okay, so I'm going to multiply here and have 50 over 1,000. Okay, my units cross out and I'm left with the sievert. Okay, and so if you multiply do that multiplication, that's a 50 over a 1,000, and that's going to leave you with 0 0.050. Okay, so remember we have three decimal places, but we have 50. So it's not 0 0.005, it's 0 0.050. See that? Okay. Another way to look at that would be that would reduce down to say 5 over 100 and 5 over 100 is 0.05. Okay, so if we look at the questions or the style of questions that I wrote on your homework um, that lists all those different conversion factors, we can break those down very simply by looking at uh, by using our, our conversions, okay? So we can say 1 gray is equal to blank centigray. So it's the same question, it's just written in a different format. We're still looking for centigray, but we um, are given gray, okay? So we can set it up the same way. So we always start with what we know. So we have 1 gray, okay, we draw our line, is equal to, we want gray on the bottom, we want centigray on the top. Okay, so our conversion here is 1 gray is 100 centigray. 
okay? We're, and we will multiply. 1 times 100 divided by 1, that's going to give us 100 centigrade. Gray crosses out with gray. We're left with centigrade. 1 times 100 is 100 centigrade. So in my mind, I just do that in my head because I've done it so many times. I know that there's a hundred centi in the gray. Okay, so if it's one gray, it's a hundred. Okay, so this is the step that I was skipping um, because I'm kind of used to doing it. So I apologize for that. I hope that makes this a little bit easier for you. Okay, so let's try it with a little bit different number so that we can see it another way. Again, we're given gray. We want to know how many centigrade, okay? So we're going to put down what we know. We start there, okay? A line and conversion factor. So the gray goes on the bottom, and the centigrade goes on the top, okay? There's a hundred centigrade in a gray, and that's what we're looking for centigrade. So we can stop there, okay? So we're going to multiply 30 times 100 divided by 1. Grays will cancel out. 30 times 100 is going to be 3,000. Okay, so let's try one that's got a double conversion. Okay, We have uh, 50.4 gray. That's what we're given. And we want to know how many rads is that, okay? Well, grays and rads are not in the same metric system, okay? The rad is a traditional unit. The gray is a, an SI unit, okay? So we'll need to convert from one system to the other system, okay? Fortunately for us, rad and centigrade are equally weighted, okay? So let's see what that looks like. We're given 50.4 gray. Okay, let's put our conversion factor. We have gray. So a gray is equal to a centigrade. Um, okay, and it's 100 centigrades over one gray. So this one, this gray will mark out and it will cross out here. Okay, and we're left with centigrade. Well, the next step is we're looking for rad. Okay, so if we put centigrade on the bottom, those two will cancel out. The conversion factor is a one to one conversion from rad to centigrade. And doing that, the grad, uh, the gray crosses out with the gray. The centigrade crosses out with the centigrade, and we're left with a rad, okay? So 50.4 times 100 times 1 divided by 1, okay? So we're left with 50, 40, rad. Okay, so let's look at it going from the smaller unit to the larger unit. We are given 7,200 centigrade, and we want to know how many gray. Okay, so we're going to set it up the same way. We're just going to change our, our way our conversion factor looks. So if we start with what we know, and we put in our conversion factor, Our centigrades are going to cancel out. We're going to be left with gray, which is what we're looking for. Okay. So what our math is, 7,200 7, times 1 divided by 100. Okay. And that's going to give us 72 gray.